everybody and welcome to my blog for this month for agroecology. My name's Richard Smith and I'm the farm manager here at Dalesford. Um, firstly, I'd like to tell you about a really interesting piece that's on the site this month, uh, and that's Farm Health Online, and that's been developed by the Dutchy College. There's some really interesting stuff on there, so do take a look at that. Secondly, a reminder about our open day on the 28th of June. That's an agroecology open day. Do come to Dalesford and visit. We've got a lot of experts lined up for the day. I'm going to give everybody a farm tour. There'll be a big opportunity to ask questions about environmentally friendly, sustainable organic farming. Um, to book for that, if you go to my blog on the website uh, and follow the instructions, you'll be able to book in online. But it's important that you do book in so that we can cater for everybody. There's been quite a bit of interest already. This month I wanted to talk about the establishment of Samfoy. Um, we're actually at the northern end of the farm today. I'm ploughing an 80 acre field. It's one of our bigger fields. It's a very typical Cotswold brash. Quite a high incidence of limestone, so a high pH in the soils. Uh, and we'll plough this now. Now we've had a very wet, wet spring as I'm sure you all have and it's been miserable and cold. We forecast rain for the next couple of days so I'll just leave this ploughing alone. Had it been a dry time, I would probably cultivate this fairly quickly or at least get it pressed down a little just to conserve some of the moisture that's in the topsoil. But as I say, we're getting that moisture so I'll, I'll fairly well leave it alone. Now establishment of Samphoin would normally happen about mid-May, so you know, end of the first week early is second week of May. You really need a warm soil to establish it into. Now this is 80 acres. Establishment of Samphoin is the hardest part of the crop. You need to get it rolled in really tightly. What I'll do is I'll come back in a fortnight when we drill it and actually show you how we do that process and how we manage all of that. But it's imperative that it's rolled in tightly. Now you don't get a huge crop in the first year of establishment, but second year it really takes off. And I think that's one of the main reasons that it's less favoured by livestock farmers uh, now, because there's not really a tremendous cash crop in the first year of establishment. However, second year off this 80 acres, I could expect in an organic system to take about 1,200 tonnes of fresh weight silage. This year it's uh, analysed beautifully with uh, a protein content of 22% and more importantly an ME or metabolizable energy of 13.5. Now that's great by anybody's standard. I'm just going to swing the camera now, round now so you can see actually see the ploughing. at about seven inches deep uh, and it'll probably take me another day and a half to get this 80 acres ploughed. Lastly, I'd just like to talk about the LEAF blog on agroecology this month. Uh, it's based on integrated farm management, or their conference on integrated farm management, well worth a look at. And the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust also have a resource on biological control of crop pests. So some really interesting stuff to look at this month. Have a great spring and I'll see you next time.